This is a Craftsman rebate plane, made by Sargent. You recognize it as a Sargent because it has this handle on the front. Fairly simple. You got the fence, blade clamp, blade. I'm not going to take the knicker out because that's kind of a pain in the butt, but the blade goes in bevel down. And you slip the blade clamp in over the top. Slip the fence onto the rod. And the rod can be removed. You put a little pin in that hole in the end and you can crank it out or tighten it up. Then, once you have it assembled, you set the depth to cut. Now, it doesn't have a fancy adjuster on this one. This is more of a feel thing. Now some people would tap on the blade, but I prefer to just move it with my fingers. The thing I need to do is make sure that this blade is down flush with this surface. I want it to actually track just right down the center of that knicker. The edge of this blade and that knicker should be directly in line. Now the rebate plane does many, many things. One of the more interesting things about it is it will do something that I hadn't recognized as being a possibility. Having it in my hands and actually making shavings with it kind of gives you ideas. This plane, with the fence, holding it very straight and square to the edge, does the same thing that I was able to do with the number eight with a fence on it, which is joint the edge of a board. So this surface is 90 degrees to the edge. That's what the number eight does for me. And we can do the same exact thing with this one. Now just so you don't think I'm cheating, I'll go over here to this raw edge got a knot in it, so it's going to be a little funky, but we'll give it a shot. This is just a board out of the scrap pile. Dead square. Now this attachment on the number five does the same thing. Still square. But this attachment also has one thing that the number 79 doesn't. Let you make a nice bevel on the edge of the board. And you can turn around and do the other side. Or just plane away the whole edge. Make a nice bevel on the whole edge of the board. 
This would come in real handy if you were making a, a saw filing jig, which we'll be making here in a few days. This one has a special thing. It's a rebate plane. The rebate means that it can cut part way through the board. I'll flip it around over to this side, which is already square, so I can get a better shot at doing a good job on it. By taking the fence off, it can plane almost like a regular plane. With the fence on, it lets me do something that the other planes cannot do. I can cut a shoulder. Say I want to put a piece of glass in the edge of this board. Or I want to make a box top that sits down inside this board. I can set the fence to the width that I want it. This knicker We'll go along and cut a groove in the edge of this piece of wood. So I want to make it, the first cut, I want to go backwards. And let the knicker make its first cut. Make sure that the fence is up snug against the piece of wood. And I come down here to the end, and like I was using a molding plane, Just start cutting down to the wood. And it lets me cut a rebate or setback in the edge. Now this plane doesn't have a depth stop. This Stanley 78 has the depth stop on it. What that does is lets me set how much of a groove I'm going to put in this thing. Once that depth stop hits that surface, it stops makes a consistently even rebate across the board. Now, it could be set up to do the same thing going this direction if I had uh, a need for that. And it does exactly the same thing. If you so desire, you could set it up and do a tongue and groove. Although it seems like an awfully awkward way to make a tongue and groove. Definitely a tongue. But I think the fascinating part is being able to use this to square up the edge and then cut a rebate in it. You can find these without the fence. They usually have just the blade and the blade clamp in them if they have anything. If you find one with a fence, it, it adds a lot to it. Find one with a fence and the depth stop, you've got a real winner. Even though this Craftsman plane, which is really a Sergeant 79, was a rusty piece of junk when I started. Just a little bit of cleaning. I didn't have to really do much to it other than square up the edge on the blade, clean it. The, the body itself was in good shape. It had some surface rust on it. Sharpen the knicker, sharpen the blade up to 150. Nothing real fancy. I took the knicker up to about 800 on the sandpaper. Cuts just great. 
actually about the same as this one which I took up to 3,000 on the water stones before I was all done with this blade. Now it's a useful member of the family. About time for it to find a new home somewhere. Somebody who needs one. Because I have three now. This one doesn't have a fence or a depth stop. But I'm working on finding a way to get a depth stop for it. This Miller Falls number 85, which is a real close match for the Stanley. It's going to become another productive member of the family. So that's the whole process of fixing up a Sergeant number 79 or Craftsman plane. Acts just the same as the Stanley and just the same as the Miller's Falls will when it's cleaned up. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.